Nero Padilla was one of the most feared men in charming California. As a high-level associate of the Sons of Anarchy Motorcycle Club, he was known for his quick temper and violent tendencies. After Jax's death, Nero took on the role of Abel's guardian, determined to keep him safe and ensure that he was able to carry on his father's legacy. But Nero soon realized that this would be no easy task. The Sons of Anarchy were facing mounting pressure from both law enforcement and rival gangs, and Abel was a prime target for those who sought to do the club harm. Despite these challenges, Nero remained resolute in his commitment to Abel. He took the young boy under his wing, teaching him everything he knew about the club and its history. Nero also worked tirelessly to secure the club's future, using his connections and his cunning to keep the Sons of Anarchy one step ahead of their enemies. But even Nero's best efforts could not keep the danger at bay forever. One day, the Sons of Anarchy received a terrifying message. Abel had been kidnapped by the rival gang known as the One Niners. The One Niners were demanding a ransom for Abel's safe return, and they made it clear that they were not above using violence to get what they wanted. With Abel's life on the line, Nero sprang into action. He rallied the Sons of Anarchy and together they launched a daring rescue mission, determined to bring Abel back to safety. The rescue was a brutal and bloody affair, with Nero and the Sons of Anarchy facing off against the One Niners in a fierce gun battle that left dozens of men dead. Despite the odds, Nero was able to find Abel and spirit him away to safety. But the danger was far from over. The One Niners were not about to give up, and they launched a full-scale assault on the Sons of Anarchy's headquarters. Nero and the Sons of Anarchy fought back with everything they had, determined to protect Abel and secure their future. Abel was safe and the One Niners were defeated. But Nero knew that the fight was far from over. There would always be those who sought to do the Sons of Anarchy harm, and he was ready to face them head on. Through his unwavering commitment to the club and its members, Nero demonstrated the true spirit of the Sons of Anarchy, and solidified his place as one of its greatest gangsters. In the years that followed, Nero continued to play a vital role in the Sons of Anarchy. He was a trusted advisor to the club's new president, and he worked tirelessly to help the club navigate the treacherous waters of the criminal underworld. Despite the many dangers that he faced, Nero remained steadfast in his commitment to the club, and he was always ready to put himself on the line to protect those he loved. Abel, too, was growing into a young man of strength and character. Under Nero's tutelage, he had come to understand the importance of the club and its legacy, and he was determined to carry on the work that his father had started. Together, Nero and Abel became a formidable team, working side by side to ensure the future of the Sons of Anarchy. But despite their many successes, Nero and Abel were always mindful of the dangers that surrounded them. They knew that they could never let their guard down, and they were always prepared for the next battle. They lived by the code of the Sons of Anarchy, and they were determined to defend it at any cost. Years passed, and the Sons of Anarchy continued to thrive. Despite the many challenges that they faced, the club remained strong and united, and Nero and Abel continued to play a central role in its success. Nero was not the only one who was fighting to protect Abel. Marcus Alvarez, the leader of the Mayans Motorcycle Club, had also taken an interest in the young boy. Marcus saw Abel as a potential ally in the power struggles that were tearing apart the criminal underworld of California, and he was determined to use him to his advantage. As Nero and Marcus clashed over Abel, the two men found themselves on a collision course that would have far-reaching consequences. Nero was unwilling to give up his young ward, and Marcus was equally determined to secure Abel's loyalty for the Mayans. The tension between the two men reached a boiling point, and before long, Nero and Marcus were locked in a violent struggle for power and control. But after weeks shooting at each other, they decide to stop the their personal war. Once bitter enemies, Nero Padilla and Marcus Alvarez find themselves united against a common enemy, the ruthless and cunning Ezekiel Easy Reyes. Easy has been wreaking havoc in the Santo Padre and has set his sights on taking over their territories. Nero and Marcus are initially hesitant to work together, as their history of conflict runs deep. However, they soon realize that they must put aside their differences and join forces if they are to have any hope of defeating Easy. Marcus Alvarez, a veteran criminal kingpin, has ruled the underworld with an iron fist for years. His reputation as a ruthless and cunning leader precedes him, and few dare to cross him. But Easy, the new leader of the club, has quickly risen to prominence and has set his sights on being boss of all bosses. He is determined to become the new king of the entire drug underworld, and he sees Marcus as the biggest obstacle in his way. Easy might have to kill Nero to show Alvarez that he's serious about being the undisputed king of California.